Hey busy bees, welcome back to day 12 of our 30 days of healthy eating and living. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. If you wanna build a website or online domain or even a blog, make it with Squarespace. Today I'm gonna share with you four different ways to make Korean steamed eggs. So many of you guys asked me to share the recipe when I made this guy right here on my Instagram stories and I thought, oh, I have to make it kind of unique and different and I'm so excited to bring you guys four new different ways to enjoy your breakfast. These would be perfect for meal planning. So if you guys are excited to follow along with the next 18 days of our healthy eating and living series, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. And please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. We'll go ahead and get started with our Korean steamed eggs four ways. So I love having eggs for breakfast. It keeps me full and it's full of protein. It also is one of the most complete foods. It has nine essential amino acids that's super good for you. So here I'm gonna start off with four eggs into my mixing bowl. Next I'll add half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Give it a mix to break up the egg yolks. During this process, make sure not to incorporate too many air bubbles in there because it's gonna create craters in our steamed eggs and you totally don't want that. I'm trying to achieve a silky smooth finish, kind of like silken tofu. And finally, I'll add one cup of water and then I'll just continue whisking until everything's combined. All right, this looks good. Now I'm gonna pour the egg mixture back into my measuring cup and then we'll divide it up. We're not done yet. With the steam egg, typically at Korean barbecue or restaurants, they would serve it in an earthenware like this, but I thought it would be really fun to serve it individual size for breakfast and then we can customize it to however we'd like. I have four mini ramekins, so basically one egg per ramekin. And I'll show you guys how to customize. I'll divide the egg mixture into the four ramekins. And now we're ready to steam. Now to steam the eggs, I fill a pot with just enough water so that it goes up to half of the size of the ramekin. So whatever vessel you're using, just be sure to fill enough water so it goes halfway up. Now I'm gonna let it come to a medium boil. Once it starts steaming like this, we're in good shape. Then I'll drop in our ramekins. For the last one, if it doesn't fit all the way through, that's totally fine because it's gonna steam just fine. All right, so now I'm gonna let it come back to a medium boil. You want it on medium to low heat. If it's rapidly boiling, that's too high. You just want like a soft boil so that it creates a creamy, silky custard. If you get a rapid boil, it's too harsh of heat and it's gonna create those craters again in the eggs and you don't want that. So now I'm gonna close the lid and let it steam for about five to eight minutes just until it sets and then we add in our toppings. So one thing I don't have in my kitchen is a pot with a glass lid, but if you had one of those, it would be so cool to just see the eggs steam and transform. It's really fun. I'll put that on my list of one of the things I need to pick up. Okay, so five minutes have passed and as you can see, the eggs are starting to get a little opaque. That means the bottom is just starting to set and it's still a little jiggly, which is a great time for us to add in our toppings. I love toppings. It doesn't just go for sweet stuff. Eggs, steamed eggs, love toppings. So first I'll start with the traditional one that you would get at a Korean restaurant. Typically they add green onions and sesame seeds. And for the next few, I'm gonna have fun with it. I'm gonna go with a broccoli cheese. I'm using cheddar cheese here because broccoli and cheddar is the perfect combo. Then the next one, I'm gonna do bell peppers and kale. I'll add a little more bell peppers for color. And the fourth one, I'm gonna spoon in a little bit of chopped kimchi. Perfect. I'll close the lid back up 
and let it continue steaming for about five to eight minutes. Really, you kind of have to just use instinct with this because if you're using a bigger ramekin or dish, it'll take a little longer time to cook. If you're using a really thick bowl like the earthenware, that takes a super long time to heat up. So I would just follow your instincts based on how I showed you that it should look. All right, our steamed eggs look so good and beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna let it cool down for a minute before I remove it from the heat and I'm gonna show you how gorgeous it is. And our steamed eggs are done. Oh, they look so good, so colorful. And I thought that these steamed eggs customized like this would be perfect for meal prepping. You can make it ahead of time and then just save them for when you're ready to eat. Just heat them up for maybe 30 seconds just to warm them through and they're perfectly nutritious and delicious just like this. Let's see, which one should I dig in first? Maybe we'll go with the classic one with the sesame seeds and green onion. The egg is still kind of jiggly, so you know it's soft inside, it's not overcooked. The soft heat from the water bath really helps keep that smooth texture. Good. Mmm. I love the silky texture of the eggs. It's such a nice departure from your typical scrambled or like fried egg in the morning. And I love that I can customize and put like sneak veggies in here if I wanted to. Mm. Which one would you guys try first? And does this look interesting to you? Have you ever tried Korean steamed egg before? So many of you guys have asked me to provide a written recipe of the ingredients um, of the dishes that I've been making, and I'll try my best to do that uh, on the blog, which is hosted on Squarespace. If you guys are interested in building out a website, online store, or start a new blog for the new year, be sure to head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and if you are interested in starting one, check my description box below for a free 10% code. I'm gonna be back tomorrow with another recipe, which I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna make yet. So be sure to give me a suggestion in the comment section below and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.